Hi, Mako ha makes it happen again. Look at this beautiful bamboo home decor tray featured on our MB1287 bisque. What we're doing today are three easy steps using our Mako bisque, our new element glaze. We're featuring sea turtle today. Look at the beautiful multi-tones going on within that glaze. That's the beauty of elements is it looks high fired. It looks like a potter did it and you have a bunch of colors going on with very very little work. We're just using very few products today. We'll be using the carbon clay carbon paper, a writer tip bottle. Mako has several different types that you can use. You pick what you like the most and your new favorite brush and your friend the soft fan brush. There's not a better brush anywhere in the market than these natural goat haired brush brushes. We have the RB144, which is the acrylic handled, which I recommend for most studios. And then we also have the CB604, which is a great brush for somebody that really wants to do a great job. All right, step one, download your pattern off of MakoColors.com web website. Get your clay carbon paper. Make sure that you have the correct side up. Only one side transfers your pattern. This paper allows you to transfer just about any pattern at all onto your bisque. So I have marked it this side up. I'm going to put my pattern onto the plate and then all you have to do is just basically start tracing over your pattern and the clay carbon paper is going to leave a mark on the bisque so now that you have a pattern to paint between the lines. A little bit like painting by numbers but we won't tell anybody that you use the pattern. Just tell them you did it all yourself. See there's a faint line in there that gives you the opportunity to paint within there and create a pattern. Alright, so you're going to transfer all of your pattern on there. The next step is you're going to use your Stroke and Coat SC15 in a writer tip bottle. Pick whichever one you like. And you can see for time's sake, I've already create, started painting some of these in. So now what you're going to do is you're going to start coloring between the lines. This is relaxing. It's easy. This technique is good for just about any age. You know, if you want a more child-friendly pattern, create something that is big, open, Maybe take the tip off of the bottle for the kids so that it flows out a little bit easier. And you're just simply going to fill all of this in. As soon as you're finished with that, you do want to let it dry until the stroke and coat looks uh, more grayish instead of shiny black. Because we're going to be painting over these colors. Alright, so how easy is that? Alright, again, for this video's sake, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this. But you can see the difference, how that is really, really vibrant black as opposed to the kind of grayer color. Now, next what we're going to do, I'm going to try to let that dry a bit. So you're going to take your element glaze. Make sure you always shake these up, get it all ready to go. I'm going to get my new friend, the soft fan brush. And what you're going to do is load that brush up, really plump it up with a lot of glaze and you're going to apply two good coats to the entire piece of bisque. That means the front, the back, the sides, the entire thing. Alright, right here is where I've probably lost somebody that has never used this glaze before because I promise you this black glaze, once fired, is going to be this beautiful multi-tonal glaze. Notice the browns, notice the greens. Look at that bamboo. It picked up different colors. Application is everything with this glaze. So we're going to put two coats. Again, you want to layer it on a nice, smooth, long coat. If you hear that brush dragging, you do not have enough glaze on there and you're taking it off. So instead of trying to stretch that glaze out, just really let it flow and layer it on. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to put a coat on the entire surface, let it dry until the shine is off that glaze, put a second coat again over the entire thing, let it dry, Fire it to a cone 06 in your kiln, and you have the most stunning piece of home decor artwork ever. Mako makes it happen.